Rise and Shine Arts Academy. Let's uh, just turn on the lights here. Oh, that's better in the newsroom because it is another glorious day to be alive. So stop and smell the roses when they're in bloom, of course, and to breathe in that rich, hearty smell of coffee. Actually, I need the candle, but it'll work. Today is Tuesday, January 23rd, 2024. Today's weather will be cold. It's January, people. Every day, it's just cold now. Some days are colder than others, of course, but some days we get snow. Some days they tell us we're going to get snow, and then we get nothing, and all teachers want to tell the weather people to pursue a different passion. Today, we would like to wish a very happy birthday to fifth grader Vincent Rossetti. Have a stellar day today, Vincent. Today, WIDA testing continues. Last Monday, the nation celebrated an immensely influential man in the fight for equality and justice. Yes, that's right, folks, Martin Luther King Jr. I'm here to give us a small dose of the appreciation and homage we pay to MLK and his powerful and potential written words in his famous I Have a Dream speech, our students in first, third, and fifth grades reciting that speech that still to this day gives goosebumps to all who hear it. Five score years ago, a great American in whose symbolic shadow we stand today signed the Emancipation Proclamation. There's a memory a great beacon light of hopes to many Negro slaves who had been seared in flames of withering injustice. In a sense, we've come to our nation's capital to cash a check. 1963 is not an end, but a beginning. And those who hope that the Negro needed to blow off steam will be contact, will have a rude awakening if the nation returns to business as usual. And they have come to realize that they cannot walk alone. And as we walk, we must make the pledge that we shall always march ahead. We cannot turn back. These are, there are those who are asking for devotes of civil rights. When will you be satisfied? We can never be satisfied as long as the Negro is the victim of the unspeakable horrors of police brutality. No, no. We are not satisfied. And we will not be satisfied until justice rolls down like waters and righteousness like a mighty steam. Let us not wallow in the valley of despair. <coughs> I say to you today, my friends, and so even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, we, we still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up. Uh, and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that, that all men are created, created equal. I have a dream that one day on the Red Hills of Georgia, the sons of the former slaves and the sons of the former slave owners will be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream of my four little children will one day live in a nation. They will not be judged of the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. This is our hope and this is the faith that I go back to the South Pole. And this will be the day, this will be the day, when all of God's children will be able to sing with new meaning. My country to city. Sweet land of liberty, of thee I sing. Land where my fathers died. Land of the pilgrim's pride. From every mountainside. Let fill in. And if America, this will be a great nation. This must be country. Let freedom ring from New York. 
What freedom ring in Pennsylvania? The freedom ring in Tennessee. Let in ring Georgia. From every mountainside, let freedom ring. And when this happened, and when we allow freedom ring, we will let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city. stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, everybody, you've been given some great inspiration this morning. Don't lose it, use it, and make this world a better place.